It looked interesting. The covers looked interesting anyway. I suppose it looked interesting. I can't remember my exact thoughts on why, why I bought it, but with the snake on one of them and, and things and uh, some of the, the symbols sort of things, the different symbols on the covers it looked interesting. So I bought the set of four. And um, I, with with my collection of books, they were built up for a while. And I didn't didn't end up bringing all my original collection of fantasy and science fiction books. But they were built up for a while and I'd get the things gradually. Once I'd finish off one thing, I'd go into the next. And one day, I, I sort of vaguely recall when I started it, back in Kuma years, sat down and I started reading Saga of the Plyarchy and Exiles by Julian Lane. And it went on, it was a quartet, and went on to into the Intervention novel and then into the Galactic Milieu trilogy. So the, that's the, the uh, eight books plus the Supply King Companion, a uh, Supply King Companion, which is a reference sort of companion book to it. So nine books all up by Julian May, Science Fiction author Julian May. Now it was um, Psychics. Psychics in a future, science, science Fiction Future World, a uh, future of Earth where they are, uh, there's psychic power going on and that some of the uh, evolution is happening and psychic powers coming through with different psychic powers like you know prolepsis and uh, you know fire sensing and various uh, telekinesis and also uh, whatever it was and um, they were psychics they were rebels from misfits of the this century 21st century and there was a there was a thing there was a thing in France I think it was that there was that, that sent people back to the Plyking that Plyking time. It was a wormhole through time which sent people back back in time. And various adventures and adventurers in the world went through it just to have an adventure. And the Plyking exiles they were misfits in society were sent back in time. Back to the Plyking time in the evolutionary steamer of things. Now, there were all sorts of heroes, all sorts of characters. Aiken Drum was a, was like Droll Dragon from Hugh Cook. He was a real character. And uh, the, the main champion was Mark Remillard. And he was the adversary in the fourth book. And um, they had adventures with aliens from another world, the Tarnu and the Fervalak, I think it was. And basically, it was, it was you know, just a big cosmic, a big grand adventure about the metapsychics back there in time and then sort of in the adventuring with time and Thervalade using their powers using things like golden talks to enhance their latent powers and things like that a great big saga of the Plyke in Exiles because they were in the Plyke period in Exile it's science fiction it's by uh, she's done other things as Julian May like the um, what is it the Trillium books and I think there's, there's other stuff. Dune Roller, Dune Roller, I think, was her first effort back in the day. And she died a few years back, but um, it was, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty technical sort of reading. It's, it's pretty intense reading. And it's, it's heavy enough science fiction, and it's, uh, it was released in the 1980s, and it's pretty classical sort of stuff. And um, I think if I were to rate it, I'd rate it pretty highly at as, as probably about a 9 to a 10 out of 10. And uh, it, it still should hold up well enough today, especially as it, it's set in years like this. A lot of the sa saga is set in time period uh, uh, like this saga. And basically, uh, I won't give the full story of intervention, but in intervention, it's, it's basically uh, mankind coming towards its, its awakening. And uh, at, right at the end, the, the, the intervention happens when the aliens of the galactic milieu come in and say, here we are, we're real, join us, humanity, and... Uh, a lot of adventure, a lot of characters, a lot of things going on, a lot of drama, some some uh, interesting ESP sort of science fiction sort of stuff, and it's a pretty pretty damn cool read and a good story when it comes right down to it, and uh, high quality science fiction. Commentary on Julian May's uh, Saga of the Plague in Exiles.